3-3 tie in game three when Jim Essien came to bat in the bottom of the tent. Essien's first hit of the season, it's a home run and it wins the ball game. Swung on, driven into left center field. It is a base hit. Racing around third is Sinatra. He is coming in to score, and the A's win it in 14. High drive up the alley in left center field, and this one is going to be gone. Home run, McGuire. Swung on, that ball is hit high and deep to center field. It's gone! A home run for Ricky Henderson with one out in the tenth inning, and the A's defeat the California Angels. Pitch, swung on, line drive, base hit right field. Round third is Blankerchip heading for the plate. He will come in to score, and the A's win it one to nothing. There it goes, long drive, left field, home run. Grand slam, Oakland wins 6-2. and planted it deep in left field for a grand slam and a 6-2 win. Line drive down the left field line. That's a base hit. Hit band off the round third. And the A's are going to win it in the bottom of the ninth. It's two on, two out. That's a base hit in the left center field. Here comes Henderson. Here comes the throw. Ball game's over. And Oakland has won it. 7-6. And McGuire in the throes of an early season slump is the hero. In Cleveland leading 3-2. to two. This is Terry Steinbach hitting a double down the right field line, scoring Willie Wilson and Lance Blankenship on a close play at home. This gave Oakland a dramatic 4-3 victory over the Cleveland Indians in the bottom of the 11th inning. One and two the count, two outs. Blank. 
second shift. Pitch. Swung on, hit in the air to center field, way over the head of the out, and the A's win the ball game in 10, 3 to 2. Gary Brown credited with a single in the RBI. Swung on and clubbed down the left field line, back toward the wall, going back against the wall. It's a base hit. Here comes Reddy around to score. Here comes Weiss all the way from first. He scores. It's a double for Bordick, and the A's win the ball game. Baines, Baines. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. There's no blown save. Hey, hey, hey. Can you believe yes. this? Win it. Only on Sports Channel, I guess. Can't feel any better in the, in the head. Big deal. You got to be able to throw him out on a shallow sacrifice fly. Ground ball, base hit to left, and the A's win it. Blankenship scores. Conseco with his first hit of the day picks up his 58th RBI. 2-0 pitch is grounded to second base. It goes by Reed, and heading for third is Sierra. He's in at third base. The throw gets by. Comes halfway up the line. Here comes Sierra for the plate. He scores. The A's win it on a throwing error from center field. On the base hit by Henderson. And it is a catch out there and a difficult play. Throw to the play. Missed the tag. Safe this box. The game is over and the A's win. There's a fly ball. Hit deep to left field. Back goes Velarde. This game is over. A home run by Ricky Enzit. Second home run of the year by Ricky Henderson. And the A's win it by a score of 9 to 7. It is Ricky time. And it's coast to coast time as Ricky from Oakland and New York back to Oakland and Big home run. Tied at seven, two outs. Tom Hankey would not been scored upon this year. More than that, scored upon, loses the game. Brent Gates with the shot. Conseco has no chance on it. Troy Neal scores the game win. We had three all of last year, then tied at seven in the 11th. Two out. Brent Gates continues his hitting streak. Here comes Ruben Sierra, and the A's win it eight to six. Mark. Bottom of the 12, two on for Mike Bordick, and he singles off Cattare. Troy Neal comes around to score. Bordick, the hero, as the A's win it by a score of eight to seven. Your pom poms, the Orioles are in the lead. But back come the A's, knocking down Mark Eichhorn. Baroja again, the A's leading hitter, breaks a three all tie in the ninth. Career as a pinch hitter, hitting just 156. Well hit ball deep to left field, way back. Goodbye baseball, and the ball game is over. Ricky Henderson with a pinch hit, 3-1 home run, and the Athletics won it 7-5. Ricky Henderson's first home run of the season, a game winner here in the bottom of the ninth inning for the A's. Gates scores, so does Baroja. So there's two outs for Mark McGuire, and I'll bet you a bean five to one, he doesn't hit a home run. Are you kidding me, McGuire? Of all things, with two outs in the ninth inning, I would have bet that he wouldn't have done that, but by gum he did. A's win it eight to five. Mike Andretti. Yeah, there it is, the winning RBI, the winning run. A's win 4-3. Eight all in Oakland. Ricky Henderson hits a hot shot, pull an infield. It goes off of Alex Rodriguez's glove. Ernie Young, and the A's come back to whatever. Brent Gates Wires and Gates could untie it. Gates base It'll happen. In the third. It'll happen soon. It happened! Home run, it's gone. A's win it 6-5. to five. That's the final. Mahomes takes the loss. Stottlemyre with the win. Todd Stottlemyre, 13 and 6 now. Win nine box. The drawn in outfield. And he takes this one off Troy Percival to score Ricky Henderson. The A's win it 3 2. To left. Did he do it? Did he do it? Did it? He did it. The A's win the game. The Oakland A's. And isn't it fitting? Game. One batter later. Slocum's delivery, Tori Lovello, bounce to first, Mobon's throw off the mark, and Barroa scores, and the A's win 7-6. Rochester left, 
Anderson back to the wall. It is gone. Chuck McElroy comes in a 2 0 count. Now 3 0. And McElroy walked him. Born a goal. He walks. There's Jose Canseco. Wild pitch. It gets away. And in comes Tony Batista. A wild one ends that way. 12 11 A's. 0 oh, 2 now to Jose Canseco. Two down. No, oh, no. Winning run is Damon Mayshore is Mitch. He was wild on the intentional walk. He was even more wild there. And again, he was ahead. Winning run on third for Rafael Bornegal. Doug Jones on the mound and watch Jones. Just dropping the walk, busting 45. <laughs> His head went down immediately. Bornegal just throws it out in the outfield. Everybody was in. Pitches did stay in the game. Bottom nine, Jason McDonald with two down to right center. That's enough. Bornegal scores from first. And the A's win it four to three. And it just seems like every team, the American League Central, is playing on ice with no skates. And the wheels are spinning everywhere. You know, Gaston calls on Paul Quantrill. He's facing, facing the pinch hitter, Brian Lesher, and he comes through to left. Jose Cruz Jr.'s throw to get pinch runner Ernie Young. Not in time. And on that play, the Athletics win it. Three to two. He run in third. Ben Grieve dribbles a grounder to third. Evans tries to bare hand, does not have a play. Jason McDonald comes home with the winning run. Izzy Molina in the house. Izzy Molina out of the house. The home run off Felipe Lira to end the game. A's win 4 3 and 15. 18 pitchers used in the game. It was only the third time that is. First and second. Kurt Abbott 0 for 4 so far in the game. Ball game. Base hit to left off Hector Carrasco scores Mike Blowers, Abbott's first RBI of the year, A's win, 5-4. The Twins now. Unusual, and we're tied at one. Bottom of the 11th, A's have the bases loaded. Blowers, the hero again, goes out to the outfield. That scores Spezio, A's win, 2-1. Not thrilled. We go to extra innings, Mike Blowers. To Russ Davis, boots it, and Scott Spezio scores the game winner. Art Howe, he's ecstatic. Tenth, Matt Stairs looking for the game-winning homer, and he got it. Off of Steve Carsey. Stairs' 18th home run of the season, and the A's go on to win 6-5. to five. Right, Bases loaded, the winning run at third. Tim Hericola walks John Jaha on four straight balls to bring in Tim Raines for the winning run, and that will wrap it up. An excruciating loss for the Red Sox. Tied at five in the ninth. Matt Stairs. Goes upstairs. Is this a game winner or not? Back and it is gone. Stairs wins the game, his eighth home run of the year. Tom Kelly displeased. 6 5 for Oakland. They've now won five in a row. There's nobody ejected, and I'm off my soapbox. All right. Matt Stairs ends the game later in the frame when everybody went back to the dugouts. Order was restored, and now everybody could just drive home safely. You score. Generally, that's bad news for the Mariners. Phillips to right, A.J. Hinch scores. Phillips goes three for five with a couple of runs batted in. Man has no idea that's going to happen. It may have happened. There's a swing and a deep drive. Way back into left center field and it's gone. Ornado Sainz has beaten the Giants on a three-run homer. The A's are pouring out of the dugout. The Athletics have won the ball game by a score of 11 to 9. Tied at five, the bottom nine, runner on first. Matt Stairs connects a walk-off home run in a thriller, his 27th of the year, and the A's win 7-5 off. He's still tied, bottom nine, runner on second, Randy Velarde. The blooper against the flame-throwing closer, Billy Cott. Sean Green, nice effort, but can't get it. Miguel Tejada scores the game-winning run. Tejada was on with a walk. Fernandez facing Francisco Cordero. It's the Rinch Corinthian sacrifice fly. To center field. Scott Spezio's coming home. If he makes it, Tejada can no longer make fun of his picture. He makes it. Osmus can't hang on. And Scott Spezio now has a new picture for Tejada. Olmedo signs. Seals. Delivers. Game winner. The O's. Losing in extra innings. 3-2. to two. 
And the pitch to Stairs. Swung on. Busted high in the air to right field. Deep right center. It's going back. It's going. It is a game-winning home run. Matt Stairs has busted one out of the lot. Sasaki looking to right center field in stunned silence as Stairs completes the circuit. And a three-run homer carries the A's home 9-7. to seven. Get the run, we're tied at 12. Bottom 10, still 12 12. With Jason Giambi on second, brother Jeremy going down the line. They wave him in, and there's your walk off Giambi combination game winning hits. What's up with Oakland? They've scored 30. 2 2 pitches on the way, and it's swung on, bounce to the hole, base hit right field. Christensen rounding third, Conti up for the ball. Here's the throw, he's going to be safe. The throw is over the head of the catcher. He has come back for a great win against Arizona, 8 to 7. Three balls, one strike. And here it is. And it's swung on, driven deep left center field. This has a chance. Cruz is back at the wall. Gone! Velarde wins it! A two-run home run to left center. And the A's win their fourth in a row. In the tenth inning, a two-run shot to left center by Randy Velarde. Toronto won. Bags full. Terrence Long, just the way he likes it, opposite way. Hitting 365 with runners in scoring position is Long. Matt Stair scores to tie it, and South Fasano scores to Here we are on the 15th. Frank Manichino. Oh, uh, good placement for Frank. Hernandez comes around to score the winning run for the Oakland A's, and they take it. In a very, very sloppy game, as their manager said, but a win's a win. It's not pretty. Three loaded. Adam Pyatt just recalled from AAA Sacramento where he's hitting 370. Pyatt looking for space and becomes a hero for the Oakland A's for just about everyone around. Pow is out. Ejected by home plate up Daryl Cousins. Bottom of the 10th, even without their manager at hand, they get it done. Brian Boehringer facing Frank Minichino with a man on second and third, and that's all we need is the guy at third. Shot to left, Mark Bellhorn comes in to score in the A's. Here comes the comeback by the A's with two on, Eric Chavez off of Kazuhiro Suzaki the other way. The buffet line is now open. Let's see, game-winning homer for Chavez, ninth of the season. into pinch run after a wild pitch and an intentional walk. Eric Chavez up, just 11 for his previous 65, but he goes deep to left off Francisco Cordero. Hudson comes in with a winning run, and the A's are 5-4, victors in 10. Sagawa ready, the delivery, and Sahada hits the ground ball to the hole, base hit right field, and the A's have won the ball game. Jeremy Giambi scores, Tejada delivers a single to right, and in the bottom of the 12th inning, the Athletics are the team that breaks through. 1-0 A's over the Angels. After the intentional walk of Terrence Long. Ending DP. Now bottom nine, Terrence Long on second run. Gant with the chopper to third. Corey Koski takes his eye off the ball to look back long, and it gets away. His eighth error of the season allows Long to score, and the A's win 7-6 in the bottom of the ninth. Gays running away in the wild card race, taking on the double race. Quickly into the 13th inning in a 3-3 game. Signs, signs, everywhere are signs. The A's are flying. Well, to give Jason Giambi a day off and Emilio Signs gets a few more swings. Right. Dan Maselli to Carlos Pena. Will the ballpark hold it? 
No! Get out of town! And he means it a walk-off home run. And the A's win 3-2. to two. Pena doing it to his former team. Troy Percival comes on to close it out, but he has his first two men on, and look out! Greg Myers drills it, full game, that fast. One shot, and it's all over. Threat, bottom 10, Terrence Long facing Shig Hasegawa. Deep center field. Deep center field, you heard the man. Jermaine Dye will score all the way from second. There he is, round and third, headed for home. He's a brown eyed handsome man. He's win it by a count of three. Almeida signs in the corner, crushes one, and that is gone! A walk-off for Almeida! <laughs> Look at this reaction. Art Howe pushes the right button. Finch hitting Omedo signs for the red hot John Mabry. And he hits a two run bomb. A walk off to beat Guardado. And the Twins, four to three. You won't believe this, Greg, but on May 15th of 99, Matt Stairs on the seventh pitch from Guardado hit a two run home run. Seventh pitch tonight to Omedo signs on the 0 2. Fouled off four. The seventh pitch, the two run home run. Real lost their mind. Pitching power. Nuts. Bottom nine. Bases loaded. A's down one. Hatterberg gets past Abanez. A, a bunch of crazy stuff happens. Long and Greg Myers score. And the A's somehow win this game. And to top it off, AL West behind Seattle and hosting the Royals. Bottom nine. KC up 3 2. Roberto Hernandez trying to close after blowing the save the previous night against the A's. And John Mabry gets the winning hit. As the ball gets tangled up in the bullpen, two runs come in, and the A's win 4-3. Oakland 16-5 in one-run games. That is the best such record in the major league. Berba finally gets it straightened out, and that was not what Pudge was asking for. He pops Almeida, signs. That's the ball game. Signs is the hero. Next running for Ramon Hernandez. He would tie the game. Durham at first. The winning run. Tahat to the left field. Well struck. Miguel Tejada has done it. Miguel Tejada has had a three-run walk-off homer to win the game. 18 in a row. Grimsley ready. He deals. And it's a line drive base hit center field. Greg Myers scores from third. Tejada wins another ball game. 19 straight for the Athletics. They've tied the all-time American League record. Nineteen game winning streak on the line here for the A's the front runners in the American League West right now three up on the Angels Swung on fly ball deep right field they've done it again Comes up and hits a bomb to right field for the game-winning home run 
the Oakland A's have set a new American League record with their 20th consecutive win. And this is a game nobody here will ever forget. Hanging out over the middle of the plate. Get it out of the ballpark and the Oakland A's, like they've done so many times during this streak, have found a way to win it. <laughs> They have done this so many times under so many different sets of circumstances in the last three weeks, but this was without question the wildest win of all 20. The American League with runners in scoring position, a bouncing ball past the mound up the middle into center field. Here comes Durham around third. He's on the way to the plate. The throw will not be in time. Durham slides in. A's win the ball. Tejada, after a couple of frustrating at-bats tonight, comes through big time in the bottom of the ninth inning. Bouncing a single up the middle. Durham scores. Red Hot DeRazzo on deck. Tejada to left field has struck back with a walk-off home run. Fitting. The 11-inning opera that is baseball. And in the end, Tejada makes up for all the previous sins with a second career walk-off. And Alan Trammell's Tigers at 1-17 and 17 now, the second worst start in big league history. <laughs> that is incredible. Excellent point because he made the play defensively and then just a, a, one of his better swings all year. Not too hard. Head down. Nice and easy. Flip of the bat. La la. Bat, boom. <laughs> it's almost like ah. Yeah. At last, the weight of everything on my shoulders. It's all gone yeah. here. Win the game. Two outs. He'll be running at anything right. now off the bat of Terrence Long. T. Long hits it hard to center. Jody Garrett racing back. Can't get it. Durazo to third. Durazo will score. The A's win it. T. Long with a laser shot to center that Jody Garrett could not get to. And you know, you're playing no doubles in that situation, and I was surprised that the ball jumped this way it did to get past the center fielder, Garrett. But, uh, Ruby, we got to see his speed scoring from first. So the A's sweep the three-game series with the Indians, go 7-2 and two on the homestand as they win it in the bottom of the nine, 4-3. Ellis to right field, that's what I'm going after it. The A's win it. Long scores again with two strikes. And to the opposite field. Slider to right center. Wow. What a win. Back to back Sundays. The A's with a thrilling late game recovery to get some big wins. Mark Ellis brings it in with a base set to right center out of the reach of Beltron. Kick the pitch on the way. Die swings and belts it. Deep center field, a deep line drive, and it's gone, and the A's have won the game. Jermaine Dye hammers a 1-1 pitch on the line over the center field wall, and the Athletics come home on a winning note. Dye, who earlier drove in a run with a single in the fourth, breaks out of a long goal run with the plate, and the A's win the ball game at the bottom of the 12th by a score of four. The three. Now the 1 0 pitch. Off speed, bloop, short center field. Long run, Sadler coming, can't get it, and the A's have won the ball game. Mark Ellis will score. Hatterberg bloops a single to center, and the Athletics in 11 defeat the Rangers 4 to 3. As Hatterberg comes through once again, Mr. Clutch for the A's in 2003 delivers. Excuse me, we're tied at two. Now Nelson facing Jermaine Die, and well, just get it in the air. And now, let our man long run and score. A's will win at 3-2, get back the game they lost in the standings on Monday night series even a play. Hernandez, comebacker to Hector Carrasco. Throw it home, got the play at home. Got the play at home, dog! <laughs> Hector, 
throws it to second. Now watch the other players in the infield pointing home. Hector, home. <laughs> not, 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 not. Where did he think they were pointing? I, I don't know. Curious. Hector said he had no chance at the plate. The buzz cut is Thursday. Tim Hudson will play Barber. Let's go Rodriguez facing Rubio Durazo. And Durazo with a fly ball to right. Jeff Devannon making the catch. Eric Burns trying to score. And Molina is there, but this time Molina didn't get his block knocked off, just his glove. Run scores. A's win 6 5. To Hada, to left field. The A's win it on a walk off by Miggy. Here, the first day of August, the A's magical month. Tahada delivers the walk off. His wow. third career walk off home run, his second this season. What a night for Miguel Tejada as he was involved in all three of the A's runs tonight. Drove in the first one with a sack fly. The ground ball that was misplayed by Soriano scored the second to tie it. It looked like a breaking Higgins ball. Slider. And he just crushed it. Really makes it tough to get the sweet spot. Swung on. There's a drive. It is deep to left center field. And it's off the wall. Here's the tying run in. Chavez around third. Chavez scores standing. Tejada brings the A's home. A winner. Holy Toledo. What a tremendous finish to an absolutely phenomenal afternoon of baseball at the Coliseum in Oakland. 2-1, up the middle, the A's win it. Hatterberg singles in long in 12. 2-1 to one A's. Miggy was angels in the outfield. <laughs> <laughs> Hector Carrasco just, he's had a couple of tough yeah. walk-offs here. Well, all he had to do is field the ball right back up the middle. Might have started a 1-2-3 double play. Instead, T. Long for the opposite field double. And Scott Hatterberg right back up central. All those guys in the infield, yep. five, he gets it past the diving Davy Cruz. And the Mad Hatter just back after missing the uh, game Saturday, Sunday, and last night in Toronto due to the back spasms. He brings it home with a single up the middle. Counting his bat. Melhew sharply hit past A-Rod. Here comes DeRazzo. The A's have clinched a tie for the American League West. has contributed to this this year. Adam Melhus in the 10th inning comes up huge. Bluff at third by Chavez. And a bunt, third base side. Miller charging, bare hand picks up. Can't make a pull, A's win! Ramon Hernandez surprises the Red Sox. He drops down a bunt on the second pitch and Miller can make no play. The A's have won the game. Grass in shallow right field. Holy Toledo. The element of surprise reigns supreme. To the plate in the person of Eric Burns. Grab your keys. It's time to go. That'll do it. 11 9. Burns' first ever walk off shot. A's first extra inning win. Play nominee, bottom 11, Royals just walk a Rubio Durazo to load the bases to get to rookie Bobby Crosby, who said afterwards, that makes me mad. <laughs> RBI infield single, A's win it, five. It's the intention to walk runners in first and second, next batter, can our brother get a bloop? Eric Burns, when asked what pitch he saw, Burns said a white ball coming at me. Game winning hit, Burn also, Burns also said, <laughs> A's win game three. The homer for the White Sox. Yes! Bottom 12, Bobby Kilty. Oh, that is out of here. His fifth, and the A's win 6-4. A walk-off for Bobby Kilty. Oakland has won six straight at home. Nobody on. Mark Kotze against John Atkins, and Kotze is now officially feasting on the Atkins diet.
Second walk-off in less than 24 hours for the A's. Katze hadn't homered in 51 games in 206 at-bats. He gets the game one. Easter strikes out Rubio Durazo. Then he gets out Jermaine Dye. But you know what? There had to be a crescendo. Dye in the 11th, a sack fly to score Eric Burns. A's get their third walk-off win in a row. 13 chances that tied it at 11, but Rhodes ends up with the win when Jermaine Dye singles in the bottom of the ninth with the bases loaded, Dye three for four. Oakland 17-0 against the NL Central. They we are tied up at seven. Dotel gave up four runs, but bailed out in the bottom of the tent by Marco Scudero. Bobby Kilty's coming in to score. That's your game winner. Dotel again gave up four in his debut, but he gets the win of all things. The A's win at 8-7. Tags full. It's that guy, Damian Miller, again. He broke up the no-no against Bush, and now all he does is have the game-winning RBI to win this thing for Oakland. And for Oakland down the stretch, every win is huge in the AL West. He swung and hit a homer. Not impressed. Bottom ninth, runners on first and second for Mark Kotze, who delivers. He was 12 for 20 on the homestand. This one wins it for Oakland. Mulder gets his 14th, and the A's are now within a half game of Texas. They're playing shallow. Scudero hits it deep to left field. Way back. Ball game over. A's win. Marco Scudero keeps Oakland in first place another day. <laughs> Get pounded on, Marco. Six, bottom of the ninth. Billy McMillian in for Jermaine Dye, and he says, um, good night now. <laughs> Get gone, y'all. A three-run shot. Raise your hand if you're sure. Eight is going to win. Nine to six, the final. I Ends with a 7 to 6 A's victory. Eric Chavez with two outs and two strikes. And in the middle of a mini slump, comes through. The A's will stay two games ahead of Anaheim and drop the Rangers of Buck Showalter to six off the pace with 19 to go. Oakland, one out, Bobby Crosby. Yeah. This looks good, good contact, right to Ichiro, and Esteban Herman would score the winning run on the sack fly, and the A's won a win to stay on top of the AL West. Steve. And the pitch, and Crosby, and he drives it, well hit, left field, well back, gone! <laughs> the A's win! Bobby Crosby in the biggest hit of his rookie season has put the A's back in a first place tie with the California Angels. Tenth inning. Scott Shields pitching. Nick Swisher, Marco Scudero. Scudero gets the bunt down. It is picked up. Bobby recovered. Thrown away. Here goes Swisher to third. Ron Washington's going to wave him. Swisher's coming to the plate. So is the throw. Swisher dives. The game is over. And the A's have won it one to nothing. As Nick Swisher goes from first to home on a bunt, Scudero's bunt. The win. That is later Dustin Hermanson facing Marco Scudero, who's spelling Bobby Crosby in short and hitting 302. Down the line it goes. Past Chris Widger. Durazo scores. And the A's, winner, winner, chicken dinner, two to one. And which game went to extras. Bottom 10 still tied, middle first and second for Kotze. Up the middle, Jeremy Reed. It was Jeremy Reed bobbled the ball day. Nick Swisher scores. A's win at 6 5. Kotze, five for six in the ball. Bottom 11, Mark Kotze. One and two. Facing Travis Harper. Marco Scudero motoring home. A's win 5 4. They snap their eight game losing streak. They are 4 and 1 in extra inning games this year. 7 and 2 thirds. So the bullpens will decide this. Ninth inning, bottom nine. Winning run on second. Two outs. Marco Scudero. Roberto Hernandez serves it up. Bobby Kelty comes in with a winning run. Oakland has already won eight games in June. The A's won seven games in all of May.
Tied at fourzies. We go to the bottom of the 14th. Bobby Kilty came in as a pinch runner in the ninth, as cool as the other side of the pillow. Walk-off home run, his sixth of the year. The game ends four hours, 10 minutes after it started. A's win, 5-4. The next batter, Marco Scudero with two on. Bill King with the call. There's a dying drive to left field. It's a base hit. Here comes Ellis, and the A's have won the game in 10. Scudero with the game winner. Mark Ellis scores the winning run. A's come back and take it 5 4. Indians have now lost 24 one run games this season. K Rod's in pitching. And boy, this looks like a perfect yacker, but he doesn't get the call again. Chavez. Mm. No one likes it. Jose Molina throws it back. Rodriguez pouting nonchalantly goes for the ball. He drops it. It gets behind him. Here comes Jason Kendall, who says, My dad always taught me keep your eye on the ball. The A's win, and they're in first place. Now, the bottom of the inning started with Nick Swisher breaking an 0 for 15 skid with a single, and here Jeff Nelson walks him. So Swisher delivers in a big way. It's a walk-off walk. Jay Payton scores, and the A's bust out huge in the ninth to win eight. Jinx hadn't given up a run all year. He has now. Mark Ellis deep. Pesetna can't make the catch, and Ellis is Johnny Drama. Victory! Marco Scudero scores. Walk-off win for the A's. Have you seen Drama's billboard? He stayed tough. Four Bottom 11, bags full, one out. Brian Bruni, Bobby Kilty. Mankiewicz stops it, throws home from his knees. Travis Bucks comes in to score. Tough one for Mankiewicz. A's win 5-4 in 11. Tough highlight. Mm, to say the least. Bottom 11, Snyder to Eric Chavez. Did he get it? And it is time to bounce in Oaktown. Walk-off homer for Chavez. Second walk-off homer of his career. And the A's beat the Red Sox 5-4. We promised you more on the cycle. Matt Thornton still there on the mound. Bottom 10, two on, two out. Same score. Kurt Suzuki, he did not. Again, his second homer in as many days. This a walk-off homer. The A's win it 8-5. to five. Oh, by the way, Mike Piazza, a double shy of his first career cycle. He's thinking about football season, maybe. He's distracted. Bottom 10, winning run on. Dan Johnson facing Joel Zamaya. Johnson grounds the base hit. Mags is up with it. Magler Ordonez, J.J. Fermanic. No. Oakland wins it 5-4. Ninth walk-off win this season. The throw, not in time. <laughs> Maven, though, made the catch. Inning over A strand two. Jones, a tough ninth. Bottom eight A's with a running, winning run at first. Jack Hanahan, holler! Mark Ellis running, scores a winning run. A's the first team in the bigs this year to be down by seven or more and come back and win it. Is it lemon meringue pie or just like whipped cream? Always got to wonder that. I get shaving cream. Yeah, I shaved it. Oh, that's little flare down the right field line. Fair ball. That's the ball game. So Kurt Suzuki with a base hit to win it. Shannon Stewart comes in to score. And the final game of the 2007 season. Hey, the A's are going to get a chance to celebrate on the field as they win it in the bottom of the ninth inning. Final score of three to two. Machine, a base hit. Here comes Barton. Jones has it. The throw, not in time. A's win. A two-on rally in the bottom of the tent, and the A's win it, two to one. Brown, he's the one the Orioles got to. That ball drilled way back in the left field, and goodbye, 
home run, game over. A walk-off homer for Mark Ellis. And the A's have swept the series, winning this one 6-5. to five. In the air to the gap in right center. This one is trouble. It's down. It's going to go to the wall, and Oakland will win the game. Bobby Crosby to the gap in right center field. Scoring Suzuki and the A's score in the bottom of the ninth to beat the Tigers. Dolce at the belt. Chopper. It's going to be a tough play. Nobody's covered first. There's the ball game. Wow. What a speed burner Jack Cust is. The pitcher was late covering first. <laughs> and the A's win the game. Six athletics, four hits, five RBIs tonight for Kurt Suzuki. And the A's do indeed take advantage of the mistake by Luis Gonzalez. Extra frames, but worth it tonight. The two, bottom of the 11th, the one two to Brown is swung on, ripped down the left field line. If it's fair, it's got a chance. It is gone, and the A's win it. A line drive home run down the left field line just inside the foul pole by Emil Brown. In the bottom of the 11th, the A's win the ball game. A's three, Mariners two. That one's going to do it. It may do it big time. It is gone. A walk off for Kurt Suzuki and the A's. Win it six to four. Pitch. Suzuki to the gap. Young bat over his head, and that's the ball game. Ryan Sweeney comes in to score, and Kurt Suzuki does it again. A pinch hit hero. And the A's race out of the dugout. And they had the Suzuki between second and third. And he's getting the royal treatment as the A's score a run here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Bunted. Nathan to third. And he throws it away. Crosby's going to come in to score. Here comes Emil Brown. And the A's are going to win it. Unbelievable. boy play hit high in the air and down the right field line is the throw one run scores here comes Hannah Hannah and that's the ball game the A's win it in the bottom of the ninth Travis Buck two for four high chopper over the mound Petroya has it throw to first not in time ball game's over Travis Buck put it in play and it was good enough for a game winner. Here, here's the pitch by Guerrero on the way, and it's swung on line to right base hit. A's win. Rajay Davis on the first pitch he sees in the bottom of the ninth inning, a line drive base hit to right. Denorfia scores from third, and the A's have come back, and they've won it in the bottom of the ninth inning by the final of four to three. One, two. Right field, that's going to get down, and it's fair. Rolls toward the corner. One run scores. They're waving home Ellis. The A's are going to win the game. A's win the game. Rajay Davis is a hero once again. <laughs> Fly 
Line drive down the left field line into the corner. Oh. It's good. Wow. It's good. Ball game over. Ellis with a walk off. Just over the wall and left. Suzuki to left field, Rayburn dives and he can't get it, and the A's will win the game! Kennedy slides home, the ball skipped past Davila the catcher, and the A's win it 3-2 in the bottom of the ninth. So indeed, they will walk off with a victory. O2, right field, and that's going to win it for the A's. Mark Ellis on an 0-2 pitch, slices one to right, Patterson scores, and the A's get win number one in 2010. And there he goes, and this one's hit to left. Bradley's back, near the wall. He's, no, he missed it. Here comes Kuzminov. He'll hit the bag at third. Gallego waves him home. Win it! They pour out onto the field and head right for Kurt Suzuki, and the celebration is on. Second straight night of a walk-off. The 3-2 on the way is a line drive. Base into right field. Patterson scores. Davis about third. Here's a throw by Marquez. It's off line, and the A's have won the game. Ryan Sweeney, a two-run single to right field. Scoring Patterson from third. From second, and the A's have come back in the bottom of the ninth with two runs, and the A's have beaten the Orioles by the final of four to three. Up the middle, and that's going to be the ball game. Pennington scores, and Suzuki with another walk off. A's win it in 12, six to five. Two-two pitch. Line drive, base hit, right field. Here comes J.D. Drew. Here comes Barton to the plate. The throw is up the line. Athletics win it. Kuzminov comes through in the bottom of the 10th. 5-4 Athletics. Pennington bounces it through the hole to the right side. Here comes the base runner around third. The throw to the plate. Not in time, the A's have won it. Cliff Pennington delivers the game-winning base hit, a bouncing ball through the infield on the right side. He faces Matsui, Suzuki, De Jesus. There's a drive, and this baby is gone! A walk-off for Matsui, A's win it 5-4. late swinging on the fastball he bounces that one charging is Kendrick the throw home is wide and the runner is safe and that's the ball game so the A's win it in 10 innings five to four well Kurt Suzuki is not your Coco crisp but he got a tremendous jump he was going on contact and Fernando Rodney two walks five infielders the A's still win the game on the infield ground ball. They'll take it. Breaking ball, drilled right center field, Trout on the run, he can't get it, and the A's are going to win the game. So Sizemore, a good battle, and he ends up winning the game with the base hit to score Pennington. So the A's win game two of the doubleheader and salvage the second game. Gomes is hit by a pitch to end the game.
So Broxton was missing up with the fastball, and then all of a sudden, he was missing in with the fastball. At the belt, check Smith now to the plate, and the pitch is swamped. Little flare down the left field line, might be trouble. It's going to fall in for a base hit. Running third base is Smith, and the A's win it 5-4. to four. The A's are mobbing Keela Kaihue and Seth Smith. A bloop single from Keela as Smith scores, and the A's win a thriller 5-4. to four. I... There's a shot to left, and that baby is gone! <laughs> Walk-off grand slam for Inge. The A's win it 7-3. to three. And Yoda Sesman has taken that slow trot. He's really taking it easy on his hamstring. See you again, the 3 2 pitch, and that one's hit to left. That's hit pretty well. Melky Cabrera's going back, and that is gone. It's a walk off for Derek Norris. The A's finally have the ninth inning go their way. Let them celebrate, baby. Chance to win it. 0 2 pitch is hit to center field. That should be deep enough. Kalish underneath it. Tagging is Pennington. He's got it. Pennington digging home. And that's the ball game. The A's score two in the bottom of the ninth inning and come back to beat the Red Sox by a final score of three to two. And decided to go to this route. Oh, oh, oh. To left. And that baby is gone. Did you see how far that was? Reddick drives one, left center field, and that is going to get down. Here comes Weeks. He hits the bag at third. He's headed home, and this baby is over. That one hit to a right center. On the run is Gentry, and that baby. Ball game, Hicks has won it for the A's. Quick look, and the first pitch is lined to right field. That's a base hit. Here comes Andrew Jones. They're waving home Cespedes. The throw to the plate, not in time, and the ball game's over. Moss wins it for the Athletics, and they will walk off for the 10th time this year. First pitch. That's a base hit right field. Here comes Norris, and the A's are going to do it again. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What is happening in Oakland, Ray Fossey? I have no idea, Glenn Kuyper, <laughs> except how great is it? You get one shot. You sacrifice with one out to put the runner in scoring position. One shot, and he drives him in. Well, Unbelievable. The way, the way it's going, you're That's not surprised that it works. So another walk-off win. Make it 11. And the A's are getting used to this celebration, and I think their fans are as well.
a four-game sweep of the New York Yankees at the Coliseum. It's never happened before. Farnsworth's first pitch to Weeks is hit high. Upton setting up. Inch tagging, medium right center. Here's the throw to the plate, and it's late, and the A's are going to walk off again. It just took a little bit longer this time. 15 innings, A's win it, 4-3. to three. And guess who got the first walk off? And makes it number 12. The 11th different player, Jamal Weeks, gets another opportunity, and this time he comes through. And that one's driven to center. Back as goes. He's got it. Here comes Weeks. And this game is over. So the A's will walk off again in the bottom of the 15th. It's a 5-4 win over the Toronto Blue Jays. And they're doing the burning. It's a team burning. For the first pitch to Moss. Oh, and the run! And that baby is gone! He's with it! Chris will send it into right field, a base hit. Seth Smith's coming around, and the Oakland A's will live another day. Game five is tomorrow. and also has hit three fly balls. This one to right field. That's it well down the line, and it is gone! Wow. Donaldson wins it in the 12th. Looking for a bunt, and it's a good one. Machado is going to pick it up, and he throws to third. He throws it away, and Sogard waits to get up. Now he finally does get up. The throw to the plate, not in time, and that is how the A's win the game. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He has struck out four times. Oh, deep to right. This may do it. It is gone. Bottom of the 19th inning, and we are finally going home. Thank you very much. Thank Brandon you very Moss. much. Why Gallego gets to send him? What a night. What a night, and what a what a two-day experience. Wow. Is inside and the ball game's over. Reddit walks with the bases loaded. Young trots home, and the A's win it four to three in ten innings. When Donaldson came out, and that is going to be a base hit, and the A's win it. Freeman a walk off against Mariano Rivera. The marathon comes to an end in the bottom of the 18th inning.
What a ball game. Donaldson, a little flare to right, and that's going to fall, and the A's are going to win the game. Donaldson finishes the first half, and he should be the hero. A bloop single, and it turns out a 3-2 A's win in 11 innings. Walsh drills with the center. Ackley's going back. He's at the wall, and that baby's gone. And we are walking off at the Coliseum, thanks to Moss. O2 pitch, line drive, base hit, and that's the ball game. So the A's are going to walk off in game two of the series, and they win it two to one. Donaldson with the big two out RBI hit. So Donaldson, his third walk off hit of the season, and the A's now have a magic number of six to win the American League West. First base side of the rubber. And now the 1 1 pitch. Here it is. And it's swung on. Line to left base hit. And the A's have won it. Cessna scores from third. A line drive base hit to left by Stephen Bolt. And the A's have even the series. A riveting pitcher's duel. And in the bottom of the ninth inning, the only run of the game is scored by the Oakland A's on a base hit to left by Bolt. 1-0 Athletics, and we go to Detroit tied up. On Easter Sunday, Stephen Boat was designated for assignment. The A signed him, and he got the biggest hit of his life tonight at the Coliseum. Unbelievable. Let's just listen to this for a second, Ray. The bottom of the 10th with a walk. Could not get him around. That one's hit to right. Saunders back. And that baby's gone. And we are headed home thanks to Coco Crisp. And that's drilled right center. And that's the ball game. The A scored three in the bottom of the ninth inning. And they come back and win it, and we have a walk-off. So the A's will celebrate. First pitch to Jensen. Drive the right. The clock is back. He's at the wall, and he leaps, and it's off the wall. Pinto's coming in to score, and the A's are going to walk off in the 10th inning in front of a sellout at Odell Club. Pitch hit to left, down the line, and that baby is gone. We are walking off. Donaldson's done it.
Donaldson drives one. Left center field. Has he done it? He has! <laughs> Here it is. Bounce into the hole. Base hit. Here comes Presley. They're waving red a cold. The throw is laid, and the A's have won it. Maybe just what they needed, Shooty. Maybe just what the A's needed. A walk-off against the Astros. the homestand and Gregerson blows a pair of saves and the A's celebrate on the infield dirt and he hits one down the right field line fair ball and they're going to wave home Canada and the throw is airmailed and the A's have won the game in the bottom of the 10th inning Billy Butler's your hero tonight with a little help from Mark Canna. Pitch deep to right. Wow. This should do it in walk-off fashion. That baby's gone.
pitch to Burns. Hit in the hole. Base hit left field. And thanks to Billy Burns, we're going to walk off at the Coliseum tonight. A's win it 3-2. Grounded, left side, Correa's going to get it, and they're going to wave the runner home, the throw to the play is late, and the A's win it. Uh, uh, how about that shift? So Josh Reddick got just enough of it, got to the edge of the outfield grass, and Correa's throw to the plate was late as Marcus Simeon just kept on running. And the A's win it in the bottom of the 10th <laughs> inning. And another crazy game between the A's <laughs> and the Astros. And finally, somebody's not thrown out at the plate. We get an unbelievable win for the Athletics. And there's a line drive base hit. This should do it. Here comes Healy. The throw to the plate, nowhere close. And the A's walk it off in the 13th inning. The full pitch walk. <laughs> that one's hit to left center. And that baby's gone. And we are walking off again. <laughs> Plenty of practice on that. Davis, line drive, headed for the left field corner, fair ball, one hops the wall. Valencia to third, the ball is dropped, they're waving it home. Here comes Valencia, the throw, not in time, and the A's are going to win it. Ron Washington saw the bobble, saw that it was bobbled, and it just kept coming, but Chris Davis, a line drive, came back, and there's the bobble. And when Holt brought the ball back in, Ron Washington said, let's not waste any time, just keep it going. Adam Rosales is the hitter. First pitch. Line drive, base hit, left field. One run scores. Here comes the winning run, and it is over at the Coliseum. <laughs> Fastball. <laughs> Ryan Healy. In the air to left field. Upton going back. Upton near the wall. Upton is going to watch this baby go. And we are walking off for the second game in a row at the Coliseum. How about that? <laughs> wow. So the A's stunned the Detroit Tigers for the second day in a row. Drive to right. Calhoun going back. To you, Mark. I, I kind of on the bench. Canna oh. left field, and that baby's gone, and they're walking off again. He walks off the Red Sox, and the A's have won two in a row, and they win tonight in the bottom of the tenth by the final of three to two. Two two pitch, a little pop up. Castro out, second baseman, and it drops. <laughs> and two runs are going to score, and the A's are going to win it. Unbelievable. <laughs> Starlin Castro had his glove on it. He just could not hold it. And with two outs, everybody's running, and the A's win the game 8-7. to 3-2 pitch. Is it high in the air? About that. Left field, Cabrera near the wall. He leaps, and that baby is gone. Fourth of July, fireworks from Franklin Barreto. <laughs> Davis, right center field. Hit pretty well, and it is gone! It's gone! Chris
Chris Davis is walking off for the A's. Holy cow. Davis is three for four. 1 0 pitch. He's hit in the air, left center field. That's hit well. Granite's back, and it is gone. It's gone. Rajay Davis surprises everybody with a walk off home run. Rajay Davis, Holy Toledo, and the Bill King induction. The walk off, and the skipper gets a thousand. Right field. And this baby is gone. Holy Toledo. Yes, indeed. Second game in a row. The A's walk off. Lowry's swinging away. Lines one. Left center field. Maven coming in. He can't get it. And the A's are going to win the game as Marcus Simeon slides home. Unbelievable. Simeon is the hitter. And a breaking ball hit to center field. Nobody is there, and that means the A's have won the ball game. On a base hit to center field by Marcus Simeon, Boog Powell scores from third on opening day. The A's have won it, and the final score is Athletic six and the Angels five. The run at third, a winning run. And that one's hit well to left field. Delmonico's back. Delmonico turns around, and this ball game is over. It bounces off the wall. Simeon comes in to score. And in 14 innings, the A's walk off the Chicago White Sox. So it took a while, but it's worth it when you win it. You know, the nice thing about that hit is it went to opposite field. And he belts it. And we are going home as that baby is gone. First walk-off home run in fan franchise history with the score tied 0-0 in extra innings. So Chris Davis, he leaned on a 3-1 pitch now. Lean on me! Amazing! KD, don't get cheated! There it is, right down the heart. Oh, heater coming to him. So always worth another look or three. As everybody goes home happy tonight except the Baltimore Orioles whose struggles continue. But, well, he got a pitch to hit. Chris Davis doesn't usually miss those. So Davis, a two-run homer, and the A's walk off the Orioles in the 12th inning. And the A's get themselves back over the 500 mark at 17 and 16. Drive to center. That's going to win it, and that is going to be a, we'll give him a single, and we're going to give him a walk-off. As Lowry trots home, Jonathan Lucroy comes through in the bottom of the 11th inning, and how about that victory to close out the homestand? <laughs> Lucroy's going to win it. A line drive to right 
center field. Chapman scores, and the A's with a two-out rally in the bottom of the 11th inning are going to walk it off in front of this big crowd tonight here at the Coliseum. See if he gets one here. Two-two pitch. Here it is. Big chopper. Crawford charges, and he missed it. And the ball game's going to be over. Crawford missed it. Simeon scores, and the A's walk off again. What a weekend of baseball. And that one is driven to right. Castellanos back in this ball game's over. Mariano is going to be the hero as he walks it off in the bottom of the 13th inning. Not a bad way to get your first big league hit, Ray. Nick Martini, Chicago. Got him all through the right side, and wow. How special is that? How special is that? First major league hit, walk-off hit. Ha, what a way to end it. win it by a final of four to three. Matt Olson uncorks one on Tony Sip. He surrenders his first home run of the year and the A's win game one of the weekend series four to three. Davis 44 homers. Unlike our odds right here. Chris Davis right center. Did he get it out? Walks it off for the A's. They creep a little bit closer to postseason. So a two-homer game for Chris Davis. The second one wins it for the Athletics in the bottom of the 10th inning. You just sort of had a feeling that Chris Davis would be a hero tonight. The set, the pitch, way outside. Gets away from Ostadio. In the score with the slide. Home is Biscotti. And the A's on a walk-off wild pitch drop the magic number to one. Here it is, and Chad hits a drive into right center field for a base hit. Piscotti's around third up with the ball. Mazzara, the throw to the plate is not in time. And Pinder has won it. The stolen base by Piscotti sets it up, and then Pinder a soft fly drive into right center. They're mobbing Pinder, they're mobbing Piscotti. As the A's in the bottom of the ninth have swept the series, they're a game over the 500 mark as the A's have beaten the Rangers and the final is A's six and the Rangers five. Left field, does it have enough? And that baby is gone. Pascotti a line shot to left field. And he and the A's are walking off tonight. Another celebration on the field for the Athletics. Left field. And that baby is gone. Cole throws. Ramon hits a fly ball, popped in a short right, going out from second is Kipnis from right field, and the ball's going to drop, <laughs> and the A's have won the game. <laughs> a uh, little pop fly. <laughs> Luplo came in from right, Kipnis went out from second, and because the infield was in, right. Kipnis had a really long ways to go. He couldn't get there. The ball dropped between them. Scoring from third was Olsen. Laureano dunks a base hit into short right field. The A's have won it, and the final score is the A's three and the Indians two. Chapman, left field.
No doubt about it. Slider right down Broadway. Probably about knee high. Exactly where Matt Chapman wants it. He knew it right off the bat. And that's all right, folks. Bart may be closed, but Matt Chapman's got you covered. All aboard. Next stop. Bounces this one in the hole. Backhanded. Rondon and his throw goes down the right field line. Here comes Pinder. Pinder will score the A's sweep the White Sox. <laughs> and he walked him, and that's the ball game. The A's score two in the bottom of the ninth, and they come back to defeat the Texas Rangers by a final score of six to five. It looks like. Olsen, center field. Maybe, and that baby is gone. Olsen wins it off Hader in the bottom of the 10th inning. Let's see how far. 97 down Broadway, and you know where we're going. Pack your bags, folks. All aboard. Next stop, pound time. So the 22nd home run of the year for Matt Olson is a game winner. Second game in a row, the A's walk it off. It was a walk on Sunday. It's a Matt Olson home run tonight. A pitch that could get through, and that's gonna win it. Here comes Joseph around third, and Robbie Grossman wins it for the Athletics. And in the 13th inning, we say thank you very much. Dumb Donna. Well, Robbie Grossman has played in this league a long time, and tonight he gets his first career walk-off hit. And it drives home Joseph and the A's in 13 innings. They defeat the Houston Astros. So, if you're going to wait 13 innings, you better win the ball game. Line drive, fair! <laughs> and that's going to win the ball game as Profar hustles home and Mark Hanna. T-shirt giveaway day. He wins it in the bottom of the 11th inning. <laughs> I love it. That's a great at bat. First pitch that is hit. Right field. This is going to win it. Let's just see how far it goes. And wow. it is gone. That's a grand slam home run to walk this thing off. Matt Olson does not wait around. He hits one into the seats. And it's a 7-3 final in extra innings. Oh my goodness. What is what is going on in 2020? Outfield in. First pitch is hit in the air to center. Should be plenty deep. Heineman going back. He's still going back. And that baby's gone. Pescotti with a grand slam. Walk off. And the A's have done it again. How do you like that? On the first pitch that Piscotti sees from Jesse Chavez, he delivers a straightaway center field slam. And just like that, the A's have beaten the Rangers, and the final is 5-1. to one. Did win. Driven to right center. Is anybody going to get it? No, they're not, and the A's are going to win the game. Marcus Simeon comes through on the first pitch, drives onto the wall in right center. And the Athletics in an unbelievable ball game tonight. 13 innings, they defeat the Houston Astros. This should do it. Yeah. Trout's going to go back. He's going to circle underneath it in deep right center field. Barreto tags. Here comes Barreto, and the A's are going to win it. So Mark Canna keeps it simple, a sacrifice fly. And the A's with their fourth walk-off win of the year, and they take the series. Driven. Left center field. Nobody's going to get it. 
and that's the ball game as LaStella rounds third and heads home, and Ramon Laureano against his former team walks it off, and the A's have taken three of the first four games from the Astros. In the air to right field, it's hit pretty well. Bishop going back, Bishop still going back, and that baby is gone. The A's have walked it off in extra innings. <laughs> wow. So the A's down to their final out, but Loriano with the double to tie it, Canna with the home run to win it. And the A's remain perfect in extra innings at 6 and 0. That should do it. Taylor's not going to get it. Canna's going to trot home, and the A's are going to walk it off for their first win of the 2021 season. So they get a run in the ninth, a run in the tenth, and they get to celebrate. And it's been a while. Waited a little longer than we all had hoped. But Mitch Moreland is the hero this afternoon, and the A's win it in 10 innings by a final score of 4 to 3. Toward the left side, through into left field, a base hit. Here comes Olsen. Here comes Grossman's throw to the plate. Not in time, and the A's walk it off for their eighth consecutive win. It's a 3-2 final today. And the pitch. Arise has it. Not an easy play. His throw wide, and the A's are going to win. You got to be kidding me. Kemp scores. Andrus scores. And the luck and everything that's going right for the A's just continues. Unbelievable. An air kept the game going. Another air and two runs score. And the A's continue. What a stretch by the Athletics. Yes. Center field. Straw sets up. Now he backs up. Canna oh, tags. Oh, oh, oh. Here comes Canna, and this ball game is over. The A's get their fifth walk-off win of the year. They score one in the eighth to tie it. They score a run in the ninth to win it. And game one of this big three-game series goes to the Athletics in walk-off fashion. So Ramon Laureano gets his third RBI in the game, and he is the offensive hero. 2-2 Two -two pitch, line drive, base hit right field. Dyson's got it. Here comes Chapman. The throw to the plate is not in time. Chapman is called safe, and the ball game is over. So another bang-bang play at the plate. And another call goes the Athletics' way. That is the sixth walk-off win of the year for the Athletics. This one thanks to Elvis Andrews with the hit. Matt Chapman with the slide at the plate. Chapman with a great slide away from the tag of Salvador Perez, and he was indeed safe. And the A's walk it off. Fly ball headed to center field. Back is Hernandez. Makes the catch. Here comes the throw. Play where ball game over. The Oakland A's have walked it off. They win it 7 6 and 12. Kemp could not get it done earlier in the ball game in the 10th. He does in the 12th. Right field. That baby is gone. Lowry has walked it off against Emmanuel Class A. What a way to start the second half.
Marte goes. The ball's hit to right field and deep. Myers back. Look it up. And it is off the wall. One run scores. Here comes Marte. The winning run. And this baby is over. Marte drives one to left, deep left, and that baby is gone. So what are the new athletics is the hero tonight. Tenth walk-off win for the ace. Second straight walk-off win. This one is driven. Right center field. Nobody's going to get it. Here comes Elvis Andrus. They're waving him home. And the throw is not fielded. And Andrus scores. And the A's have won it in the bottom of the ninth in walk-off fashion. Thanks to Starling Marte's double. Elvis Andrus struggled to get to home plate. He kind of fell on home plate, and he may be injured. Just before he got to home plate, he kind of slowed down, and he is down right near home plate and being checked by the eighth training staff. Everybody on their feet at the Coliseum. Murphy is the runner at third. First pitch is driven. Left center field. Nobody's going to get it. And the A's are going to walk it off for the second day in a row to finish off a three-game sweep of the Houston Astros. So walk-off win number 12 for the Athletics. And what a great way to finish off the home schedule here in 2021. They played a great weekend of baseball. So now the A's have the tying runs on the bases with two outs. Barrera, right field, going back is right field, and that baby's gone. Barrera has walked off the Angels. An absolute stunner of a moment at the Coliseum. Luis Barrera, his first major league home run, is a three-run shot in the bottom of the ninth. And the A's have won it four to three. Two, two pitch, here it is. And it's a line drive, base hit left field. Pache will score. Jed Lowry with a base hit. And the A's salvage the final game in a walk-off fashion. And boy, oh boy, did they need that. There is no doubt about it. Walk-offs are welcome here in Oakland. And it's about time. Those are good vibes, partner. Big chopper off the plate. Castillo fields, bobbles, and the A's win it! Tony Kemp scores from third, and Oakland wins it in 10. Four to three, the final score. The fly is a tag up. Burdick. Right center, he squares up. Here comes McKinnon, not in time, and the A's win it. So the wild pitch, a big part of the bottom of the tenth. The A's will take it as Sky Bolt comes through with a sacrifice fly. So after a little bit of frustration for the A's in the late innings, they end up walking it off here in the bottom of the tenth. Fourth walk-off of the year for the Athletics, thanks to Sky Bolt and the sacrifice fly. Pinder grounds it slowly towards short. Out at second, the made to first. And the throw is wide, and the A's are going to win the game as Langdeleers comes in to score. They want to look at something, maybe the action around second base, if it was a technically a legal slide, because LeMahieu really threw the ball away. So they are going to check this. So they're going to have a decision to make by Murphy. 
Well, all I see is Sean Murphy sliding right into second base, and I see DJ LeMayhew. New York is challenging the slide rule violation at second base. Yeah, there was nothing wrong with that slide. Zero wrong. The only thing wrong with that entire situation is DJ LeMayhew had his foot in front of second base. That's the only thing wrong with this entire situation here. Angleers, as soon as he sees After that ball. Review, the call is confirmed. There is no violation at second base. Kemp hits it hard, and it's going to get past Dice, and the A's are going to win the game. Bryant comes in to score, and the A's with two of the ninth, one here in the tenth, get a walk-off win over the Angels. Well, it was just a matter of time, Kipe. And that's what the A's were able to do, hold on to their chip, keep pushing it in. Got comfy in their chair. Enjoying life right now. 3 2 pitch. He walked him, and this ball game is over. A base is loaded walk. Kemp will trot in to score. And the Athletics for the second night in a row walk off the Angels tonight. It's a bases loaded walk. How about that? First pitch to Kemp. Line drive right field, base hit. Here comes Noda. Here comes the throw to the plate. Up the So Tony Camp decided that he was not going to wait around. He went after the first pitch from Karen Check, and he lines a single to right field, and the A's get the win tonight here at the Coliseum. And that's going to win it for the A's. Ruiz flips his bat as he drops it into left center field. So that's a walk-off hit for Stuart Ruiz, and the A's will celebrate around second base as that hit wins the game and breaks the A's five game losing streak and after what happened yesterday the A's really needed a win and maybe even better a walk off win and they get it this afternoon. Well you know what that can do for a club you know what that can do for an entire dugout and not just the dugout the boys down in the bullpen as well Ruiz hanging in there got that slider down really draws in and that's blasted to the gap left center field year for Brett Rucker is his first walk off in his career. Well, Vinny, the beautiful thing about baseball is if you pay attention to it, sometimes, sometimes it'll tell you what's coming. And we went through the pitch sequence, couple fastballs, a changeup, couple fastballs, a changeup, couple fastballs, a changeup. And then he got the one he was looking for, the one he was waiting for, and he delivered. Ruiz now. Walk-offs are welcome here in Oakland. 2-0 pitch. That's one line drive off the glove of the shortstop coming in to score. L'Oreal, the ball game is over. The A's have won it 9-8. The A's have won this game 9-8. A walk-off hit from Esteuri Ruiz. That's number two on the season for the leadoff man. He's starting to make it a habit of this, and I don't mind it one bit. You needed the lineup to string a couple of bats together, maybe even a few, get some guys on base, see if you can't put some pressure on McGuff and make it tough, and they did. Riley juggles, bobbles, and throws home, and it's not in time! Dropped by Murphy, the A's win a two to one. Brian Snicker may ask for a, a look at this one. And he says, palms down. So the A's have won back-to-back -back games. Jonah Bryan makes contact, and the party is on as the Athletics win it by the final of 2-1. to Back-to-back well, -back victories for the green and gold for just the second time this season. Sometimes all you need is contact. It's an E5 charge to Riley. But the A's get their fifth walk-off of 2023 as they beat the Braves. Trying to play for two as the visiting team. Resurfaces. Off the glove of Andrews, throws to first, and it's too late. And coming in to score, the throw, he, he's safe. He's safe, and the A's win it. Andrews unable to field it cleanly, and that was all the Oakland A's needed. Great piece of base running by Wade. He never stopped. They're going to leave the White Sox on the field.
Fly ball, left center field, way back there, and it is gone! Brett Rooker right on cue, and the A's walk off the Royals 6-4. You just got to put it in the universe, Vinny. Fourth home run tonight for the A's. It's number 21 for Rook, and the A's win the opener of this series against Kansas City. And couldn't have come at a better time. Pinch hitting, game on the line right here. And the 3-0 pitch on the way is high and inside, and the A's have won it. That's how the A's get their first win of 2024. A bases loaded walk to Abraham Toro with nobody out in the bottom of the ninth inning. Our final score, the A's four. And the Guardians three. One, two. Shot the other way. That's going to drop down. Schumann waved home. Here comes the play. He is safe. Lawrence Butler answers the call. And his first career walk-off happens on Friday, April the 12th. He started it. And the law finished it. Have yourself a day. 3-0. He missed. It's a game over winner. Put the peepers on him, Sony. Let's clap hands. Seth Brown touches home plate. A 10-9 win. Third walk-off this season. This was an unbelievable game. Tyler Soderstrom saves the day by coming up to the plate and taking four straight pitches. And the A's win the series. Pulling down the line, that was not the case. Blige, swing and a drive. It might be. It could be. It will be. A walk-off winner. J.J. Blige wastes no time in game one against Toronto. The A's have won it two to one. And who better in a situation like that than J.J. Blade? A guy has continued to put together incredible at bat after incredible at bat. And even though you might not always have something to show for it, each and every time you take your at bat, you got to have a game plan. You got to be ready. And J.J. Blade finding himself sandwiched in between a couple good hitters has taken advantage. And this one right here, just a cement mixer of a slider elevated. Take a listen. And take three left turns. J.J. Blade, baby. Well, it's only fitting that J.J. Blade would have his 30th extra base hit on a walk-off home run like that. I mean, that is all this dude has done, it seems like, over the past two weeks. Step into the box, deliver a big blow. And they're usually, like you said, Chris, worth at least two bases or more these days for J.J. 3-2, swing and a drive, deep to left. Shea has become judge, jury, and executioner. Well, Chris, you just felt like over the road trip, you could see Shea Langelier slowly but surely starting to orient the barrel with the baseball, and you knew, you just knew, good things were on the horizon. Man, oh man, from start to finish, this game was fun. And just like you said, partner, 
after three walk-off losses on the road in this last road trip. The A's respond in their first game back at home in a series against the Seattle Mariners and pick up a very big and fun win. Well, for Shea Langoliers, you've got to come up in a spot like this and be ready to hit. You're looking for a certain pitch in a certain spot. You're sitting fastball. You adjust to this little wrinkle here popping out of the hand. And Chris, the man they call Shea Langoliers, puts a bow on it and sends the Mariners packing. It's Brownie. Ground ball down the right field line. That's going to win the game. Seth Brown, the hero again. Bedlam in the Bay. Seven to six. Somehow, some way, the A's find the magic. And Seth Brown off the bench. Two of the biggest hits of the season. He picks up his second walk-off hit of the homestand, their third walk-off win of the homestand. And I don't have much left in my voice, Dallas. This is, this is the greatest game that I have witnessed in my life. Seth Brown to Jacob Wilson. This one's going to get through. Zach Geloff coming home, and the Oakland A's have won the ball game. Add another memory at the Coliseum on a Shortstop enter 2025. Moments like that, that'll add some favor for you. Oh, it absolutely will. You're showing the ability to step up in a big spot and deliver. That's what you want to see from the youth on your roster. Can you answer the bell? Can you step up and slow the game down? And for Jacob Wilson, tonight, a resounding yes. Take you through the replay, slider up and out, and Jay Willie wasted no time on the screws. Get through there. And I'm gonna need you to get on your horse and ride, Geloff. Hit the deck and we're in there. And the green and gold are walking in game one. Put the bat on the ball, put in play, good things can happen. Geloff stole 90 feet, and in 180 later, the Rangers going to take game one on the chin. All gas, no breaks from Geloff. In safely. And you'll see on the back end of this play, Jonah Heim after contact. A bit shaken up. 